Keep it here with Big Bully TV. <laughs> Don't drop them now. <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Today we're going to talk a little bit about cryptorchidism. I've gotten the messages over the course of time where people have said, Hey, I paid a lot of money for this dog and the balls haven't dropped. What do I do? I go, how old is it? Maybe like this. Well, he's about two years old. Two years old? <laughs> God bless you. There's nothing you could do now outside of potentially have a surgery. Listen, our doctor at eight weeks at eight weeks when we take him to get a shot, she checks and say, "Hey, how's his balls? You get back there, you feel a little bit." Say, so, "Okay, he's got two peas in the pot." Now the upside about the two peas in the pot, especially if they're dropping, which means they descended, is that for the most part he's going to have a better chance at having a healthier life. For a fact, when a dog has what they call, I believe, bilateral. I believe it's called bilateral cryptorchidism, meaning both balls are still in the abdomen. Abdomen. The dog turns around, and you increase the risk of cancer. The dog's semen never really matures because it's kept at such a hot temperature. A dog's natural temperature is already 102.5. And imagine the dog not being able to cool itself. Just like us men, when we get a little hot and them balls get sweaty and they drop, they be hanging real low in the, in the summer, that's how the body cools itself. When them balls are tucked, <laughs> you feel like you're burning up, it's because you got, ooh, them jokers need air out. So same thing when you watch a dog's body begin to, want to or when a dog's body wants to cool itself, what will happen is, is the dog's balls will drop as well. The further the way, the cooler the dog can get. And you've seen the funny, it was a funny little video went around. A dog had dipped his balls in a, bu in a bucket once. <laughs> he just backed up and was like, there we go. So, let me even walk you through. And don't ask me about this book, if you're in our pet achievers. <laughs> Actually, if you can find it on Chris Moore and I did this thing, but look. Let me make sure you can, here we go. <laughs> Cryptorchidism. And I'll read a little bit to you, that way you can see for yourself. Oh man, the testes normally descend into the scrotum just before birth. They descend into the scrotum just before birth. Keep that in mind. <sighs> I gotta make sure we read the, the right stuff. Here in the environment with the scrotum test of development, the dog reaches sexual maturity is also said to be entire. Yeah, occasionally one both testicles fail to descend, retain. Okay, if only one testicle is retained. The dog is cons is correctly described as unilateral cryptorchid, rather than mono uh, cryptorchid. If both remain in the body cavity, the dog is described as a bilateral cryptorchid. Due to the elevated temperature within abdomen, sperm cannot develop and retain testicles. Sometimes people write these books and you go, they can't do what? Basically put it like this, even males. If your temperature rises, your sperm uh, count diminishes. So even if you have one testicle that's dropped and one that's not, you will basically reduce, again, the morphology, motility, all that stuff diminishes. You basically cut your chances in half when trying to get a female dog pregnant if you have one test that testicle that didn't drop. And one that, one that dropped and one that didn't drop. But, keep this in mind too, a dog is not entirely disqualified from the show ring and sit, since cryptorchidism is generally believed to be an inherited fault caused by a double recessive ooh, trait, it would be unwise to use such dog as a stud. Man. So, just of it is this. If you have a cryptorchid dog, don't breed a cryptorchid dog. The quality of the dog's life, I mean, we're talking about simply doing a good walk, especially if you live in a warmer environment. You don't want that dog to be at risk. Not for cancer, not for anything, to be clear. But you increase the risk for a lot of things when the dog is cryptorchid. I've gotten the question, can I breed a cryptorchid dog? What do I do about this cryptorchid dog? My dog literally... Balls haven't dropped. It's two years old. By six months, a lot of times, that's when the dog's sexual maturity begin. The process of becoming more sexually mature begins. And if the balls haven't dropped by six months, it's very unlikely that they are. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs, people. Like, subscribe, and share with somebody who's dealing with a, a, a dog that maybe needs two more, you know, its balls to drop. And just keep taking care of yours.